Hey there, Libra. Welcome to Healing Guys Tarot. Um, I developed a new spread for you guys. This is the twin flames reading. We'll have the Divine Feminine on this side, Divine Masculine on this side. And let me know if you guys like this, because if you like it, then I'll do them again. So this is for Libra. Whether you have the Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, whichever way it resonates, um, take it for the, that way. Okay, so let me begin. Oh, it wants to pop out already. Let me see. We have the strength card. Okay, I'm going to put that back because the first card, put that like this. We'll see if it pops out again. All right. So this is what currently happened in Divine Feminine's life. There's a wheel of fortune. Things are changing. Something's shifting. Now we also have a Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in to the Divine Feminine. It could be... Um, another Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or could represent the Divine Feminine being a sword here. And we also have a Six of Swords. And it looks like Divine Feminine went, moved away from something that was not serving her to some, move into something better. And it was done in Divine Timing. This is destiny. So whatever's going on in the currently in Divine Feminine's life, it looks like it's destined. Things are changing. Let's see what's hidden. Ooh, heartache. So the divine feminine is, is hiding her heartache, her pain. So maybe whatever situation she left, she's not really letting people know or the person know how she really felt. All right. Now let's see what's going on with divine, divine feminine. Okay. What is currently happening with the divine Ooh, masculine? I'm sorry. Divine masculine. Things are popping. They want to pop. This this reading really wants to take place. I'm telling you. <laughs> it was popping. Okay, so that card. Okay, so look, currently, the Divine Masculine is celebrating something in his life. And we have um, doing very well financially. Looks like he might also maybe start a new business or um, as a boss, but doing well, doing, um, doing okay by themselves. They're independently doing quite well and that it could be an um, Aries Leo Sagittarius here let's see now hidden ooh hiding the fact that there there's a new beginning that's being hidden a new opportunity that interesting so this might be a new business me they're hiding or that they're doing well they're not letting people know how well they're doing Ah, bottom we have, so, but there was an ending to something for the Divine Mass and something's over. We have the world underneath. So something was completed, over, done. And here, on the bottom deck for Divine Feminine, we have the Knight of Wands. Someone coming towards some passion. Hmm. Okay. Now, what's the Divine Feminine's thoughts about the Divine Masculine? Let's see. What are their thoughts? Okay, so looks like their thoughts are they want to go towards the um, Divine Masculine. They have a lot of love for them. They might be spying on them too. They watch them. They can even be watching these readings to find out more information. But it looks like the Divine Feminine is wanting success here and has a lot of love. Could be asking friends about them could be inquiring could be watching them on social media but they are very interested in what's going on they have a lot of love and here we have ooh, want to move forward quickly here so this is um cancer energy okay now let's see what's the divine masculine thoughts about the divine feminine Ooh. Wow. Now, their thoughts are they don't know. They're they're indecisive. There's something hidden from them, so they're not sure. And they're afraid of this heartache. They want this happiness. They they feel like divine feminine makes them happy, but they're afraid of getting hurt again. So they're not they're not sure. It's like 
there was pain there, but there's happiness there. There's pain there, there's happiness there. What am I going to get? If I go back to the Divine Feminine, what will I get? This is Leo energy here. On the deck we have, ooh, a lot of passion. Wants a new beginning, though. They really do, but they're just afraid. But there is a chance to have a new beginning, some, to spark something new here, to create something new. Very good chance here. Okay. Now, what does Divine Femme feel? How do they feel for the Divine Masculine? What are their feelings for the Divine Masculine? Hmm. Yeah. They, they feel this spiritual connection. They feel... Yeah, they feel deeply connected. They, they go within and they think about this. This could be a Virgo. And this, uh, we have the Fool, it could be Aquarius or Aries. They want a new beginning. That's their feelings. They want to start something new. They have a lot of love for them. They, um, they might see them as very nurturing and loving and caring. But they're, they also feel like this relationship taught them a lot. And, um, they're, they had to go within to heal from this relationship also. Very deep connection, it feels like. But they do want a new beginning. That's their feelings. And the bottom the deck we have, yes, Knight of Cups want to come towards them and offer their love. Okay. So what are the Divine Masculine feelings for the Divine Feminine? Look at that, they both see each other as very loving and caring and nurturing, also very intuitive. And they're look at these queens are facing each other. They both are looking at each other with a lot of love. A lot of caring. And their feelings are they want to come quickly towards the divine uh, feminine. There's cancer energy here. Could be a yeah, cancer. Want to move quickly. Where did you both want the same thing? But there is this relationship also has been a burden. They want to put down this burden. They want to end this burden. They want to put an ending to this heartache. But on this deck, we have holding on. They're not letting go. They're holding on. Okay. Now, what action is the Divine Feminine going to take towards the Divine Masculine? What action? Ooh, the chariot. Coming quickly. They want to go quickly. They want to tell how much happiness this um, divine masculine brings. But they're also thinking about what they lost in the past. But the action they want to take is to move quickly towards them. Travel to them. Move towards them. Um, maybe even take a trip. The sun at the bottom. Yeah, we, we have... Look at this. Bottom of the deck here, we have ten pentacles. This is like... Oh, uh, feeling so much happiness with the, with the sun card and with this ten of pentacles feeling financially stable or abundant with this person but feeling the loss of what happened in the past and that is a concern but they do feel like this person is someone that makes them very happy with the sun card could be a leo okay so what action is the divine mask going to take towards the divine feminine Okay, so this Aries energy here. And then we have the Page of Wands, which is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This Divine Masculine um, wants to have control. Wants to t be in control. Wants to take charge of the situation. Um, they they want to move away from what was, wasn't good to towards something better. So they want to move towards this Divine Feminine. They want to send a message to them. So it looks like they might. They might either email, text, call. They could write a letter. but Or they even could tell a friend, hey, I'm interested in the Divine Feminine here. Can you get a message to them? And then they, they see that there might be competition, might be tough, but they also, it looks like they know that they have a chance because I think they know, they could feel that Divine Feminine feelings for them. Um, there, there are, there's concern here. Definitely concerned, but they might be willing to fight for this connection. Okay, let's start clarifying these cards. Okay, why do we have 
the Three of Swords for what's hidden for the Divine Feminine. Temperance. They're, they're trying to balance out their feelings, their hurt, their pain. Um, they feel the presence of the angels around them. They feel that they're they're protected, they're guided, but they still feel this pain. Okay, what about my masculine? Why is this Ace of Pentacles here for the hidden energy? Hmm. Okay, so we have the High Priestess in reverse. This person has secrets that might come out. And they're worried about that. They might be aware if the if the divine feminine has um, psychic abilities that they're able to tap into this. They see them as very connected, and they're probably concerned that they'll realize that they have this opportunity or this whatever this is that came in that they're trying to keep under wraps right now. They probably just don't want people to know at this time um, because they are still on the building stages if it's a business or something. But they are concerned that the fine femme might find out. Or they also could be that they have um, they're very intuitive and people don't really know. Whatever way that resonates with you guys. That could be a Taurus or a Libra too with the High Priestess. Hmm. So it could be your energy. And here, wanting to um, offer the cup of love here. Apology. Okay. Now let's find out why we have the Wheel of Fortune here. Oh, wow, look at that. I just said that. Page of Cups. That Page of Cups. Oh. <laughs> Picking up my feathers here. Page of Cups with the Page of Cups. So I think you both, it looks like you both want to um, start something new. But this is this divine timing. When will be the right time for apology or to confess your love? They might be waiting for the right time. Okay. What about this Knight of Swords? A lot of emotions but there is things hidden there might be something that has to be spoken that is hidden and that's also Pisces energy yeah it feels like there's deep emotions here that were not really expressed probably because of the pain felt here okay how about the six of swords why is the six of swords here wow yeah this is movement and this is coming quick so whatever is happening in this um, Divine Feminine Life, this is what's happening right now. Things are moving quickly. They're moving away from a situation because of the emotions. Um, or what was happening here, what was hidden. So this is fast movement now. It could be communication, but it's also moving somewhere quickly. This person is moving away from what was not good for them to something better. But, well, look at that. We have lovers. Gemini energy. Yeah, the Divine Feminine could be moving towards a Gemini or... Um, moving towards a new lover or they could see the divine masculine as their lover wanting this which way it resonates with you guys okay be different for different people okay the three of cups why is the three of cups here for the divine, ma divine masculine Ooh, the moon wow a lot of emotions this divine masculine has been going through there's also something hidden. There's a lot hidden with this high priest. This, this, this is going to be coming out though. And with the moon, there's things that this person's hiding. But there's a lot of emotions. They're celebrating something here <clears throat> at this time. <clears throat> Why is a nine of pentacles here? The hermit. Okay, so this person, by masculine, could be a Virgo has gone deep within and um, I think they were able to find out things to help them financially that they um, I don't know that some of them might be building a business that's um, might be a tarot reader might be um, a psychic very intuitive very spiritual and they might be building a business and maybe they're not really um, letting people know about it why is the 
king I want here. Four of wands. Yeah, I think it might be a business, but this also could be that they're starting something new. I mean, unless they're in a, going to be in a commitment or they're, yeah, it could be, they could have just bought a new house or a business. They might be, um, yeah, I think they started a new business or they purchased the house. Making them very happy. Celebration here. But it's, some stuff is hidden about this. Let's see, we have, yeah, Page of Swords. Now, this is learning things, starting something new, learning something new, getting all these new ideas, starting, this feels like a very new energy. Um, researching things. It also could be like the page source could be a spy card. They could be spying on the divine feminine. They could be asking about them, um, watching social media. They could even be watching readings. But they're, this is information that they're curious. They might be doing research on their divine feminine, seeing what's going on. Okay. Now, why do we have the six of wands here? Ooh, the chariot. Now this, this is thoughts about the Divine Masculine. They want to move really quickly and add towards the Divine Masculine. This is a Cancer energy. Their, their thoughts are to move quickly towards them. Okay, what about the Ace of Cups? Now this is the Three of Wands in reverse. Now, whatever's happening here has been delayed. So with this love here they're they're wanting this to connection they want they started something they might have contacted the divine masculine but there's been a delay with getting a response because they might have offered their cup of love and they didn't get a response yet okay what about the six of swords interest i'm um, six of swords page of swords you both have the page of swords what about the page of swords oh nine of pentacles Okay, so there's news here that this person's also doing quite well financially. It looks like they're very independent. You both feel like you're all right on your own. But they also might be seeing that you're doing well on your own too. This, could, Whichever way it resonates, I think this could be that this person spying on you realizes that you're doing quite well. You, you don't need them for anything. And while we have... Three of Swords. Here it comes up again. This hurts them. That knowing that you don't need them. Or that the, the body mask doesn't need the body feminine. Whichever way it goes. Okay. How about the Two of Swords? Queen of Cups. Okay. So they feel a lot of love and nurturing. There's, this is a very intuitive card. I don't know. I feel like this, this divine mask is very psychic. Very intuitive. And there's a decision to make. It might be feeling like more or less, do I go with my heart or go, go with my intuition? What do I follow here? They're worried about that three of swords here. You both have the three of swords in your spread. Okay. Let's see more about this three of swords, please. Five of Cups. Yeah, feeling the loss. It's weird. Three of Swords is here, here, and here. We're getting this a lot of heartache, a lot of pain over this separation, this relationship. And this, um, when they think about you, they think of what they lost. They think about this loving, caring, nurturing energy. But then it was like cut off. Okay. What about the Sun card? Yeah, look at that. Thinking you. So their thoughts about you are, they think about you day and night. Are the, the divine masculine thinks about the divine feminine day and night. All the time. But we do have the Ten of Pentacles. They see a lot. See, we both have, I think together you guys feel like, you both feel like together you would be like a power couple. Like you were able to manifest a lot. Finances would be great together. Really, it looks like. You both got that on the bottom of the deck here. Okay. And what about the Hermit card? Why is the Hermit card here? The world. Endings for new beginnings, completion. So their feelings about you is that 
they can bring this back around if they go deep within and they can heal this that's what it feels like the hermit could heal this that's what they're feeling that they want to start try this again the divine feminine wants to try it again with the divine masculine okay what about the fool <sighs> hermit again wow Virgo energy very strong hermit was here twice it's like really wanting to try to get a new beginning to be able to heal this to start something new that this relationship has also taught them a lot and feels like they taught you too it feels like the hermit can also stand for um teacher and student and at the same time and also um going deep within okay what about the queen of cups here Two of Swords decision. You both have the Two of Swords trying to decide about their feelings because they know they feel deep within a connection here, but they don't. They're afraid. They're hurt. They you're both afraid of getting hurt again. But there's also people interfering. When I see this Two of Swords, I feel like there's interference. People trying to talk him out of it. And then we have the Magician able to manifest. Yeah. So their feelings for you is that they they can manifest something new with you. They want this opportunity. Okay, what about the Queen of Cups to the Divine Masculine? Four of Pentacles. Hanging on to this. They're not letting go. My Masculine does not want to let go of this. They don't want to let go of the love. They feel the love, the nurturing, the caring. They don't want to let this go. And they might not be letting other people know. They might be keeping it close to their chest. What about the Chariot? Empress. This is the chariot trying to move fast towards the Divine Feminine, but they also see the Divine Feminine as very um, fertile, very able to um, create whatever Divine Feminine wants. They see this energy, they feel this energy. They also feel that this, this is an opportunity that they feel that they can create something together. That together you two can like conquer the world, it's like you can create whatever you want I feel like there's a very strong energy for both of you thinking that you guys somehow it didn't work but maybe it wasn't the right timing because now this this divine masculine feels like you can create wherever you want you can really it feels like a lot of power they feel a lot of power in this connection being together okay what about this ten of wands why is that here Knight of Cups. It's a burden. They want to come towards you. They they feel that they have a you know a lot of love to offer you. They want to make an offer here, but this been a burden. Trying to think about how to do this or if they should do it has been a real burden on them. Bomb deck we have yeah or should they walk away? They're trying to think uh, how should they walk away or should or this also could be should they leave what they're presently in if they are in a relationship to go towards the divine feminine. They're trying to make up their mind on that, but there is definitely a feeling of walking away from something, either leaving um, this as it is and not coming together or leaving their present situation to come together. A lot of love here, though. Okay, how about the cherry of, over here for action that Divine Feminine is going to take? Three of Cups. Yeah, to go, to, this would make them very happy to charge ahead and go towards. They feel like their happiness is with the Divine Masculine. Okay, how about the sun? Why is the sun here? Knight of Cups, they also want to come here and offer their cup. They fear this would make them very happy. Knight of Cups are Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Both sides here. Ooh, they want to end this feeling loss and and they want to they want a new beginning. That's the action here is to be happy to offer their love and to end this um this end this not talking to each other, not being together to start something new. Transformation, Scorpio energy. They really want a new beginning. They want to end this ending, you know, and start something new. Again, look, sun again. Happiness. A lot of happiness here. They're looking for the happiness. Okay. Now let's see what the divine master has here. The emperor. Why is the emperor here? 
the devil capricorn energy could be a capricorn but this emperor feels like he wants to take charge of his life he wants to take over this feeling of um some kind of obsession or um, he wants to have control over his life the devil is like trying to control something but he wants to take control over this devil this obsession this um longing Okay, what about this Six of Swords? Yeah, moving away from sadness to victory. Wants victory. By going towards you, wants to have victory. You both want the same thing. You both want to be together. Wants to, you know, claim, claim this relationship. Okay, how about the Page of Wands? Why is the Page of Wands here? Knight of Swords. Yeah, looking for to communicate. Coming quickly. This um, this divine mask wants to come towards you. Look. And then we have Page of Pentacles. So we have Page of Wands, Knight of Swords. Definitely communication. Wanting to bring maybe a gift. An offer here. Coming very quick. Now that we have um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And we have um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo here. But this divine masculine is looking to to come back to um make an effort here in the end this is you know what kind of action they're going to take and it's like they're going to um overpower this feeling and have victory they want they, they have to they have to make some kind of approach now because you have the page of wands the knight of swords and the page of pentacles this is all trying to communicate this is all start, trying to start something new so it looks like Divine Mask and you both want to come to get whichever side you're on here. Both sides want to be together. It's That's obvious. So it's just who's going to make the move. And they're both, and you're both afraid of getting hurt. So, but it'd be interesting to know what the Divine Mask is hiding over here. But, okay, please um, let me know if you like this spread because I'll do it again. I'm not sure how you guys are going to like this. So, please leave a comment, um, a like, and share, and subscribe. And I um, hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.